Hey everyone, X here once again, back with another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be exploring a little bit of lore and history in regards to one of the characters within Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. This is a character that more than likely we got introduced to all the way back in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite during the introductory cutscene of that particular game and we just didn't realize it until this point. This character is none other than the Huntsman within Monster Hunter World. So what we're going to be taking a look at in regards to the Huntsman is the similarities that we can see between the Huntsman and the character all the way back in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite and just get a general idea behind the history of the Huntsman within Monster Hunter World to get a better understanding as to when we actually got introduced to this character within the series of Monster Hunter. Now with all of that being said, if you enjoyed these videos, please consider leaving a like on the video itself and let me know in the comments below if there's any other information that I may have missed out in this video in regards to the Huntsman being linked to the character in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Now with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get started. To kick things off, first and foremost, just who exactly is the Huntsman within Monster Hunter World? The Huntsman is a veteran hunter and a member of the First Fleet who arrived in the New World some 40 years ago in order to discover the mysteries behind the Elder's Crossing. Now alongside being a member of the First Fleet and being a veteran hunter, the Huntsman is also considered to be the best of the best when it comes to hunting monsters within the First Fleet. He is considered as a master hunter and even the Admiral admits that even though the Huntsman might not be good at arm wrestling, he is definitely the best hunter out there when it comes to First Fleet members. Meaning that the Huntsman is definitely the best hunter out there only outdone by the Sapphire Star of the Fifth Fleet which is none other than our characters. So overall, the Huntsman is definitely one of the best hunters in the game as of right now in terms of his overall skills and prowess. So now that we know who the Huntsman is in Monster Hunter World, the question is, is he the exact same character that we see all the way back in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite? For me personally, I think the answer is definitely yes. One of the key aesthetic features that both the Huntsman and the Freedom Unite Hunter have is that they both wear Rathian armor. Now in the case scenario of the young Freedom Unite Hunter, he eventually started wearing Master Rank Rathian armor. However, in Monster Hunter World, believe it or not, the Huntsman is actually wearing high rank Rathian armor but heavily customized. As you can see in the game as of right now, the only real piece of master rank equipment that the Huntsman wears is none other than the Rathian helmet. However, everything else on his armor set is actually based on the high rank armor set. Having said that though, what I think happened here is that he had that armor set completely upgraded to go up all the way to master rank in terms of its overall stats. So at this point, I think he's actually wearing layered armor of the high rank Rathian armor set. So yeah, I think he definitely had an upgrade with regards to his equipment all the way up to master rank simply because of the fact that maybe he liked the visuals of the high rank armor set better or he simply finds it a little bit more appealing to wear something that's high rank and be able to perform with it extremely well all the way up to master rank in monster hunter world iceborne so regardless of the situation both of these characters are definitely fond of their master rank or high rank ratian equipment So now that we have established visuals between the two characters being similar, possibly confirming that the Huntsman is indeed the Young Freedom Unite Hunter, the next question is, is there actually anything else to link these two characters together? I think there is. The other thing that can link the two characters together is the fact that both of them have used the Greatsword to some extent. Now for those of you wondering, how could the Huntsman use a longsword at this point but not a greatsword? Well the answer is advanced age. The Huntsman is already struggling to use the longsword in the game as of right now and for the most part if he started using a greatsword again, I think he would struggle even more in Monster Hunter World especially when facing off against tougher monsters like Volcana and Nergigante. Now as we can see in the game as of right now, despite the fact that he is definitely a skilled hunter, he pretty much complains a lot that he's too old for hunting monsters in the new world despite wielding a much lighter weapon like the longsword. Having said that though, 
he doesn't exactly lose the ways of the great sword in my personal opinion because there's actually one proof that confirms that he was indeed a great sword user to some extent despite the fact that he's not using the weapon type as of this current moment and the proof is none other than the field team leader master cannon's ready to fire order sir do it <laughs> The field team leader is the student of the Huntsman, however despite being a student of this great master, he's actually wielding a great sword as opposed to a long sword like his master is. If he was learning from the Huntsman, then he needs to learn the ways of the great sword from someone who is capable of wielding that weapon to begin with. And the only real way the Huntsman would have learned how to use a great sword with great efficiency is if he actually made that weapon to begin with, possibly during his younger years. This will pretty much link the young Huntsman all the way back in Freedom Unite to the Huntsman that we know today in Monster Hunter World. So this pretty much adds up altogether in my personal opinion to the Huntsman being the young Freedom Unite Hunter all the way back in second generation. For me personally, I do like the fact that Capcom did try to continue that lineage of previous generation games in Monster Hunter World because of the fact that we are seeing some of these characters back in previous generation games as they've grown up in Monster Hunter World. Another character that actually does this is the Excitable A-Lister. Believe it or not, the Excitable A-Lister is actually the Ace Cadet all the way back in Monster Hunter 4 and 4 Ultimate. So as you can see, it's not so far-fetched that we could go all the way back to second generation and see this young Freedom Unite Hunter become the Huntsman in Monster Hunter World. So now that we have established that the Huntsman is definitely the Young Freedom Unite Hunter, is there any other interesting history regarding the Huntsman during his days as the Young Freedom Unite Hunter? For me, I think there's one more piece of interesting history and that is none other than his fight against the Teostra. The Teostra is considered something along the lines of an old rival and an old friend of the Huntsman within Monster Hunter World, but we don't exactly know what happened between the Huntsman and the Teostra that made the fight so memorable. However, I can make some speculations as to some of the things that could have happened between the Teostra and the Huntsman in order to make the fight memorable for this particular hunter. One of the key things that we can take a look into during the Huntsman's fight against the Teostra was the locale that they both fought in back in the old world within Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I personally think that the locale that they both fought in was none other than the enigmatic tower back in the old world during Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. The tower was considered to be the most deadliest place back in the old world due to the fact that it attracted a lot of elder dragons including black dragons such as the white fatalis. One of the key aspects about the tower is that this was the deadliest locales back in the day due to the fact that it simply attracted many forms of elder dragons including the Teostra. So for me personally, I think the reason that his fight against the Teostra was so memorable back in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite was due to the fact that the Huntsman was not only fighting the most deadliest challenge that he's faced at the time, he's also fighting at the most dangerous locale at the time which was the Enigmatic Tower. So that could be the very reason as to why he he remembers the fight so fondly. He was risking his life in order to take down the Teostra back in the old world and as you can see during the introductory cutscene of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, you can actually see him staring towards the tower at the very end of the cutscene meaning that this was the very destination that he wanted to go to after earning everything that he's had in regards to equipment. So overall, that's pretty much the history of the Huntsman within Monster Hunter World that I can think of in regards to his fight against the Teostra. And that is pretty much it for this video taking a look at the Huntsman's overall history within the Monster Hunter series. What do you think? Is the Huntsman definitely that character or is there anything else that you could link the Huntsman to in regards to any other characters within the Monster Hunter series aside from Monster Hunter Freedom Unite? Let me know in the comments below if there's any other characters within the entirety of the Monster Hunter series that you think could relate to the Huntsman in Monster Hunter World. Now that is pretty much it from me for this video. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider leaving a like on the video itself and subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell icon so you can go ahead and catch up on any future Monster Hunter content that I might be doing or any other games that I might be playing in future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Onward and upward.